Easy does it. Easy does it. <laughs>
here we have the beetroot salad, candy beetroot, and whipped sheep's ricotta. Over here is a squid. Squid is fried in breadcrumb with squid ink. That's why it's dark. Some stuffed aubergine, some of that lovely olive oil, and here we have the headliner. The feather blade with truffle, parmesan, triple cooked chips, and beetroot ketchup. I mean, truffle chips, great. Parmesan chips, great. Put those two together, spoiling me. Absolutely brilliant, all hitting the spots. It's like decadent, but fresh, juicy flavors. And what great value. Three courses, 40 pounds. Two courses, 35. Obviously go for the three. Uh, it's just a fantastic name for an office furniture company. Ass Man. Do you like Ass Man? I like Ass Man. <laughs> this is a Wolf at the Door, owned by some guys who are absolute specialists in late night places. Here they do one pound tacos and bows. We have got the pizza loaded fries. Here we have bow and tacos, like buffalo, chippy tea, prawn, chop suey, delicious. We got four cocktails, a couple of classics, a couple of new boys, a spring break, a jungle bird, a watermelon sugar. This is a Merck Life Balance, lovely craft number. And if that isn't enough, and of course it is, we have banana rum, just to grease the wheels. Cheers. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Mate. It's raining cats and dogs out here. Dogs, black dog ballroom is where we are now for salt and pepper. Here we go again. Salt and pepper, what is it? It's this crispy coating that started in Chinese restaurants in Liverpool. As a big thing up north, right here we've got a salt and pepper chicken, some sticky chicken, and some king prawns. And here, salt and pepper wings chicken wings in the salt and pepper coating. We've been recommending this place so much. Salt and pepper, MCR, everybody loves it. It's grab and go. And salt and pepper chicken on salad, 7.50. You add the prawns, the king prawns, that makes it 10 pound 50. That was some tasty chicken. Brother and sister duo, they grew up with their father owning a Chinese restaurant. And they were like, ah, we like what you do, Dad, but we want to do it a little bit cooler, a little bit more modern, and this is what it is. Mate, I bloody love that. I love that, man. That's what Top Job's all about. Brother and sister following in their parents' footsteps, kicking out some absolute high-grade grub. They're gonna go big, aren't they, Will? They're gonna, they're gonna have more in Manchester. They're gonna open in Liverpool, and before you know it, they're gonna be in London, and you and I are gonna be sat there making another film featuring them. Pizza? Yes. What? So ordinarily, I wouldn't trust somewhere that had Comic Sans font for their logo. However, I have heard that Nails do an amazing 22-inch pizza, but I don't think we can manage one of those given what we've eaten and what we've got to eat. But we'll have a few slices. Here we have their Bratterish. It's a play on words. I don't really get it. This is Rocket Roller Coaster. And this is Enduyeroni, Enduyeroni Honey. Do you love me, honey? Do you love me? Those pizza spice slices are legit. None of that soggy business. These are crispy numbers that you can crack, snapple, and pop. <laughs> Grody time, mate. Come, Hari, the vermouth and the gin working together, sizzling my nostrils, telling me tonight's gonna be the night. This is the bruschetta with broccoli, friarelli, burrattina with orange and chili marmalade. We have beef shin, pork shoulder ragu with parmesan. We've got king prawns, mussels. This is like seafood pasta. All smells amazing, all looks amazing, especially this one. This one is 
Give me the eyes. That's brilliant. You got the you got the creaminess from the mozzarella. You got the tart from the chili marmalade. Mate. That's like a very smooth glass of red. You know what I mean? Absolutely fantastic. That was top notch pasta in my gob. Easily my favourite spot. Easily. Your favourite spot in all of Manchester? Easily. Oh god, there you have it. Easily. Outro done. D-U-N. <laughs> Romeo done. Oh, I feel really good. Let's go downstairs to that awesome lofty lobby with a cafe bar down there. Inhale a coffee. Ready for the day. This right here is Duty Street Warehouse, an epic ground floor space in a converted mill with a cafe, restaurant, bar, with a DJ from 5 p.m. We're staying above here, but let's just show you what's going on on this ground floor level. Right here is the restaurant serving non-European small plates and shares. Behind me is the coffee shop and this blue ceramic bar. It does something to me. In this area, people pitch up work here all day, don't have to pay anything, completely free. Behind me is the big old bar, serving up Manchester craft beers and killer cocktails. Will and I will be walking around the Northern Quarter looking at all these amazing big red brick warehouse buildings with huge windows thinking, oh my God, the opportunity here. And this is exactly a prime example of what you can achieve given the DNA of these properties. It's epic. One thing we know for sure is that Will and I dig our sourdough. And the owners of Pollen, Chris and Hannah, they're sourdough masters. Started out in a little arch in Piccadilly about five years ago when sourdough was a new thing. Their queues around the block and they became super popular. So Will, let's go see what they've got on offer, man. Here we have their hash brown bun. Hash brown with Scottish gouda, fried egg in a sourdough bun. Oh. This is their grilled cheese. It does everything that a grilled cheese should do. Their blend of four cheeses, four, with local kimchi, and local fermented pickles. Wow. Oh wow, just in my trousers. And now I know where this place is busy. <laughs> Next door is dead. I can now say that I'm 100% pollinated. In every great city, there's a Chinatown, and we're right near Piccadilly in Manchester Chinatown. Marwa, why we're we here, man? We're here to see my man Q, folk Q over there, perfect Vietnamese food. So Marwan's brought us to folk Q. This is like his church, this is Mecca. He loves it so much. And uh, we told him to go light on the ordering and he's done this. So Marwan, what have we, what have we got here? So here we've got the sweet and sticky ribs, roast duck fur, lemongrass lamb chops, roast pork summer rolls. This is the pièce de résistance, I would say. Ban mi, chicken, Prawn, katsu dip, get it in. Yeah, man. Mm. Oh. Man, I love that. Folk you in Chinatown and Manchester. Highly recommend. I mean, that was a feast, but onwards, Will. More food. <laughs> Come back over to Ancos. Ancos is where Marwan lives. It's a growing residential neighborhood and you can still walk into town. It's like 15 minutes away, right? Yeah, man. And in Ancos, there are some gems like this. Rad's, it's been here for decades, way before Ancos was cool, way before anyone was really here. And they were just sort of like serving food to some regulars and builders. Adrian served up some jerk chicken, rice, peas, the chips, Potato salad, coleslaw, all the good stuff. Oh, uh, yes! Flavour wise, and like generally being impressed, that's probably my favourite thing on the trip so far. Staying super local, still in Ancoats, still on the same road. Right there, we have Rad's, 
and that is old school and coach been here for decades. Now we've got the new school, new kids from the block, and we're going to check out Bada Bing. Sam and Meg were together running a bar. Obviously lockdown happened and they were thinking, we want to do something, we want to create something. Washing Sopranos and they had an idea. Let's do proper New York style Italian subs. And here we are. You can get their subs on their website and we are foodstuffs and apps. Will, shall we start taking this apart? Good. We've featured a few of these on Top Draw. These like proper lockdown babies. These businesses have started from people just being like, well, I can't do my normal job, so what's going to be my side project? Which then turns into their main thing. Badabing is definitely that, and I don't think he's going back to bartending, do you, Will? Romano was one that I was probably the most excited about coming to. Detroit pizza. Very, very deep pan, served by the slice. You kind of eat it with a knife and fork, I think. I've seen people doing that. When pizzas are called pizza pies, this is the sort of pizza they're talking about. So it's not going to be Romana then? Ramona. Ramona, Ramona. sorry, Ramona. Ramona. Ramona, sorry, Ramona. Big up, Lauren Cog, manager of Top Jaw. This is the Cali Pep, pepperoni on deep dish. Look at that holy focaccia, as Marvon said. Man, holy. With a big old bratter on top. Hot honey, and apparently you may just drizzle it on. You gotta go all in. Loud and proud. Pull that bratter over it, tuck it into bed. Mm. I thought we were in Detroit. <laughs> I, was, I was so taken by that. Absolutely loved it and it certainly lived up to the hype. Yeah, I mean, that's probably the most hyped place Easily. on this trip. Mm. And it delivers. Drive-by at Fry-by. When we're in Amsterdam, the big thing is fries in a cone with a satay sauce or their other special sauce. And we don't really have that in the UK. Yeah, you can go buy chips with cheese or gravy or whatever, but an actual cone of fries being done the best they can be. Until now. Here I've got Big King jumbo prawns with a truffle and garlic butter, a citrus salt, a brown crab mayo. It's banging. The brown crab mayo has made my day. Oh, oh. Yeah, work it, baby. Work it. Work it. Behind me is Evelyn's. Our next and I think final dinner of the evening. Neighborhood restaurant bar. It's casual in there, it's relaxed, but there's something about it that's still very special. Here we have here the TFC, aka Taiwanese fried chicken from Taiwan. And right here is the green chili sauce. Tofu laksa with fried tofu, courgette, bean sprouts, all the coriander. Let's go for it. Tandoori Tarat. The Aldi TT. Her <laughs> <laughs> sauce is hot. We're up there at Evelyn's, eating, drinking, having a good time. Down here is Daisy. Their cocktail bar, completely different vibe. The atmosphere is fantastic, even more fantastic when we haven't experienced anything like this in a very, very long time. This right here in this beautiful, interesting, gorgeous vessel is the Daisy. Oh, some rosemary smoke. Now it takes on a new life. This place is legit. But now we're off to somewhere even more party. 
straight on. This massive, great big converted hall that we're in is our train station. This indoor area is called the Ticket Hall. This is called Platform. You've got tables, it's a bit of shame right now because everyone has to be seated, everyone has to be masked up when walking around, but give it a month and this place is going to be jumping. Everything you see here, this is called Freight Island, Escape to Freight Island. Owned and run by the guys who started Warehouse Project, infamous party legends of the north of England. This is their new project, huge outside area, now huge indoor area. Check it out, bro. Mate, let's go and ball around. What's happening, lads? What's happening, lads? Last night, we had a very good time. Freight Island, we were mega impressed with the outside. And that was before we saw the inside. Inside! Amazing. We got a bit carried away, went to a couple more bars, and needless to say, this morning we were feeling a little bit jaded, a little bit under the weather. We are meant to be back in London right now. However, we were going home, we were heading to the train station, but we noticed that the sun was out after three days of absolute pure drizzle. We thought we'd pitch up, settle in, drink some medicine, and join everybody else on this wonderful street and have a very good time. Manchester, you've been amazing. It's not a big city, but the level of innovation, quality, and great people doing amazing things is extremely high. We don't want to go, literally we don't want to go. Big thanks to Will, my partner, I love you. Major big thanks to Marwan and Adam from Eat Manchester. Without you boys, this film would have been nowhere. Nowhere near as good as what it has been. You are a tour guide and you smashed it. Oh, and um, subscribe to Top Drill.